Hi. Uh, with this video, I will continue to create my uh, data structure. Uh, let's look at our uh, project, activity management project. Uh, the first video we created activity type, and in this video we will create an invoice reason activity expense type and duty types, uh, and we will use uh, re reference rec ID for uh, for uh, for integrating to table. Okay, let's continue to create our uh, project. First, let's create an invoice reason. This one. Uh, I need an extended data type for this. Uh, let's create an extended data type. First, this time uh, I will create uh, this with uh, different type. The first video we create a new extended data type uh, EDT string. Now I will create a integer uh, 64. And Actually, uh, I will not use a string uh, an invoice reason ID here. I will use description as an ID. I will show you how I will do that. Okay, let's create new table. I need a description here. Now I need an index. And now I need self duplicate no alternative key yes. It's important uh, uh, to choose alternative key. Okay. Description must be mandatory and I will not change. I am putting label and the title field and cache lookup is found, it's a main table. I will not change target key for this one and for this, this is main. <coughs> and save and uh, I have another uh, field I need to set. This is the replacement key. I will choose my uh, description key for this one. Okay. Now, uh, my table actually ready. Uh, I will not open any ID fields. I don't want to use ID in this table. I will use rec ID as a uh, ID for this one, and I will uh, create relation from rec ID, but in forms you will see description for this table. Now this table is uh, ready, but uh, our uh, our uh, EDT is not, so I need to set a reference for this EDT. Uh, First of all, I need to choose reference table and add the 
one. After that, I can create this one and I choose the ID for this one. Now, my uh, extended data type is ready. Of course, I need to set a label for this one. Okay. Okay, my ADT and my table is ready. Let's this is finished. Let's create this one. Uh, for this one, uh, let's create uh, different, uh, the first uh, style. Now let's create fields. Uh, I will use this one. And I don't want this. Also, I need a description and I need an index. First of all, let's give a proper name. Let's not update now. Yes. Good. Let's set the table properties. Choose the cache lookup fonts and name. Okay, now it's almost ready. Let's uh, allow it it's no and mandatory yes and mandatory yes. Okay, now our table uh, also ready. Let's reference this one to this one. And Okay, also my ADT is ready. Now it's time to create duty type. It's same process. I will create uh, really fast. Okay, let's say first of all table. Now let's create standard data type. Let's drink. Okay. Uh, for this, the string size is 10. I will not uh, change, uh, but if you need uh, more, you can change. Uh, so uh, for duty types, I don't need uh, long uh, uh, long ID, so it's enough for. And let's create new fields for our table. And also I need a description for this one. And I need to create first index. Let's look at properties. Also, I need this description to be mandatory. 
click create table. Description. This is font and name. Okay. It's also enough for us. Now we create, sorry, it's not finished. Let's set our reference. Okay, now it's finished. We created this one and this one. Okay, now let's create this one. This one is a little bit different because it's, uh, it's neat. Mm, sorry, uh, we will create this one. Uh, uh, end of the project because we need activity ID, which is the uh, main ID for activity table. So now we will create, uh, first we need to create duty table. Okay, let's, um, let's create duty table in another video because I don't want to uh, shoot long videos, uh, 10 minutes is uh, enough for us. Uh, the, the next video I will create a duty table and activity table and expense trans. Uh, I hope uh, you will enjoy and learn something uh, from this video series. Happy Duxing!